Hello, uh, this video is um, hopefully going to help you. <laughs> um, if you own an Acer Aspire TC886, which is what this is, um, or, well, I'll, I'll, it might cover other things as well, um, but if you've got this particular model and you go to turn it on and it hangs, the fans go, but it doesn't post. You don't get any beeps, it just sort of hangs there. And then you press and hold it and then you press it again and it does the same thing. And then eventually it actually gets to the desktop and then you don't know why that happens. Um, watch this video because um, this is how you actually fix it. So I'm going to turn this on and then um, you can see it's posting and um, you get that beep and then window starts up uh, and then we get to um, the sign-in screen so I'll just sign in using the pin so that's that signed in and you can see the computer is all working perfectly now um, right so I will just go over again what the symptoms are so there's no confusion um, obviously you're free to skip this bit but basically you go to turn it on and you can hear the fans and maybe see the fans going but nothing else happens so you press the power fans go there's no beep there's no post there's no boot there's, there's none of this it just the, it just sits there with the fans whirring so you press and hold the power button it powers down you power it up again and it might do the same thing and then you sort of do that a few times and eventually it has a bit of a stugger that's a word i've just invented and then it goes and, and you can sign in once you get to that stage i'm going to jump straight to the fix now once you've jumped to that stage this is how you actually fix it okay so um that, they've got a nas so i'm just going to shut that you go to your your Windows menu here, your start button, and you search in your apps for Intel. And what you're after is Intel Rapid Storage Technology. So if this machine has still got the original installation on, because it isn't that old, then Intel Rapid Storage Technology should be installed. So you open that app up, say yes to the prompt, and then what you do is um, you can see the status you can see current status your system is functioning normally click on intel obtain memory and you can see there on this it's enabled okay what you do when your machine starts up when it eventually gets to the desktop is you open this app up and you find that tab and you choose disable so you turn off obtain Okay, and what that will do is that will stop, well, I'll, I'll explain what Optane does a bit later, but what that will do is it will then, when you restart the machine, it will then enable Windows to install the update or the firmware update or the BIOS update that it wants to. And after it's completed that, you come back to this tab and you enable it again. Okay, right. So basically the fix is when it finally gets to the desktop, go into Intel Rapid Storage Technology app, disable Optane, restart, run Windows Update, run restart. And what you'll find is that it will probably do a firmware update and it will say, I'm updating this, I'm updating that. I'm up and the reason you've got the problem is because Optane, annoyingly, when Optane's enabled, some updates don't install. It just breaks them and won't allow them to be installed. Okay, so turn Optane off, let it do its updates, turn it back on again. And that fixes it. So, um, yeah, the explanation <laughs> is based on what Optane does. Uh, in the olden days, by which I mean four years ago, five years ago, large size SSDs were quite expensive, especially if you're an OEM looking to produce low cost machines like this. So what they would do is they would put in a large mechanical drive and it would be slow. So Intel, the clever people at Intel, found a solution for this in that this motherboard has got an M.2 slot and it's got an Optane card in it 
I'm going to say SSD. It is used for storage, but not directly. So what happens is you get this, because you used to get the drives that had an SSD component and a mechanical component, and they'd be like a hybrid drive. That This essentially is taking that SSD component out and putting it on the motherboard as a separate part. So Optane is a technology that allows Windows and the motherboard and the whole system to use much faster SSD technology, M.2 SSD technology, to act as a buffer or a cache for the much slower hard drive. And it does make a massive difference. If you turn Optane off on this particular model, it adds about two minutes to the boot time. Everything is much, much slower because it's using the mechanical drive. It's not using this SSD buffer as a hype. And what, what the, clever, the really clever thing about Optane is that as you do stuff, it works out what you're using the most and it shifts that onto the SSD. So it's a third on this machine, it's a 13 gigabyte SSD that's got in there and it's linked to the main hard drive, which is a one terabyte. And what they do is they combine together to have, a, it, it's, it's like you're putting the food that you use the most at the front of the fridge or the front of the cupboard. So you can ease, so that, so yeah, that's, it's brilliant. As a technology, it's brilliant. Uh, it didn't last very long <laughs> because there's quite a lot of, of plates you have to spin to get it all to work. You have to have the Optane, special Optane SSDs. You have to have the, the technology on the motherboard to support it. You have to have the software installed to support it. The operating system has to support it. And then what happened was large capacity SSDs got cheaper. So uh, I do occasionally see machines with Optane in. Um, this is one of them. There is a little SSD hiding inside there, which has been the Optane. But you can see that, that obviously, if you've got this particular model, then you're going to get a problem that's going to have you going straight to the repair guy, i.e. me for this one. Um, <laughs> uh, and they're going to have to work out what's wrong with it. And obviously things like, oh, it's the battery, oh, it's the processor, oh, it's the RAM, maybe your hard drive is broken. <laughs> PC fixing, viewer, is actually about standing in a smoke-filled room and working out where the fire is. Now, what you tend to find is that a lot of people will think, oh, this room is full of smoke, I'll just open the windows. So you open the windows, all the smoke flies out, and then you think, brilliant, I've solved the problem. Then you close the windows, and of course, the room fills up with smoke again because the fire isn't out. So the trick is actually not sort of dealing with the smoke, because that comes later, the trick is actually working out where the fire is. And sometimes it's your trousers. Sometimes your trousers are on fire and it's an obvious one. Sometimes it might not even be you. It might be the duffer next door who's decided to burn leaves on a Sunday afternoon. Why do they do that? It's so annoying. That, but you, unless you go out there with a the hose, you, you're not gonna, so sometimes it's you directly. Sometimes it isn't you at all. Like if your email stops working, maybe your internet's having an issue or the server's having an issue. But a lot of the time, you can usually find out where the fire is and put it out. Now with experience, that becomes easier. So if you've got this machine and you thought, what I'll do is I'll Google it, you did the right thing watching this video. <laughs> because this machine was brought to its knees and it completely stopped working because of this. And the customer who this belongs to is panicking a bit because it's got their stuff on it. And also they don't really like the idea of buying a new machine because it's actually quite good. It's a ninth gen i5. It's got eight gig of RAM, one terabyte hard drive. It's got the Optane thing to speed that up. Windows 10, it's actually upgraded to Windows 11 perfectly happily, which I was surprised about, but it did it perfectly happily. So this is actually quite a nifty machine and it does all they want it to do. So if you've got this machine and it's doing this, this is how you fix it. Hope that's helpful to you. Um, it might take a while for, when you click disable, just let it do its thing and then it will restart and then run Windows Update, remember, and then let it do all that. And then you'll, and then once that's settled down, come back into this Rapid Storage Technology um, app and enable it again. And it will probably enable quite quickly. It'll say it might take a while, but it, it'll, it'll be, it'll take longer for it to disable it because it has to rejig everything back onto the main hard drive than it will to enable it, which is like, dunk, use the hard drive. Yeah, use the SSD. So it, it's going to be far, it, just let it do its thing. 
let it restart a few times, run Windows Update, then re-enable it, and you'll get the performance back, because it does make a massive performance, as you'll notice, uh, without, you know, having to take it anywhere, pay anybody any money. So, as I say, I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any questions about it, stick them in the comments. If it was helpful, liking and subscribing is very much appreciated. Um, I don't make a great deal of money from this. I do like to share um, solutions to problems because I was quite pleased to work out what this was. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.